Okay, the next step after you finish your base, hopefully it has been nailed correctly and we're going to check the lines. Looks like they're on the right side of the lines. There's a couple that are a little bit tilted. Um, it's not going to make too big of a deal. The only thing that worries me is that it is not square. So when I lift this up, see how I can twist it one way or the other? It wiggles back and forth so it's not square. Well, the exact same thing happens when you're building a real house. You frame up a wall, it doesn't come out square. But the cool thing is, plywood comes from the factory mostly square. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to match your base to this plywood. So we'll match up one side, we'll get it perfectly right, and somebody will always do that. You get one side right, and then somebody's going to reach over and fix the other side. What happens when they fix the other side? Everyone's makes my side wrong. And he's going to do the small side. You think we should do the short side when we figure it out? Probably want to do the long side so that it makes it most square. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pinch this side, square it up, we'll nail off this side. Once this side is tight and not going anywhere, then we can push the bottom framing to where it needs to go on the other side, and we'll square up your framing to this plywood. We'll match it to it. Does that make sense? Because if I was to just nail this and then come over here, this is not correct and it's off. And if we nail it as is, it's wrong. But if we just squish it over, it'll square up your framing to this. So this is called OSB. Um, stands for Oriented Strand Board. It's a type of plywood that's made up, as you can see, of a whole bunch of little pieces of scrap wood squished together. And they put it in a huge clamp about the size of this, about as tall as the ceiling, and it comes down and it squashes about 20 of these sheets at the same time. And it's really cool to watch. Um, when I've been framing houses, I've seen a, a perfect imprint of like a pencil. Somebody dropped one in there and it just got squashed completely <laughs> around it. It's kind of cool. If you see finger outlines, that's bad, but otherwise. Um, so this is called, it is a type of plywood. The only downside of this is it doesn't do well with water. If this gets water on it, it'll start to expand, and then it'll start to disintegrate if it's too long. So um, what we do is we have another type of plywood called CDX, and it looks like the back of that wall over there. Um, it looks like regular wood, and it's a type of plywood, but it's made with a a C side, a D side, and an exterior glue. And the C side has certain size holes in it, the D side has certain size holes. And there's ACX, there's all different kinds of plywood, but usually they're gonna frame up a house with that type. And they use that on the on the roofs and stuff. Um, in case it gets wet, it will survive longer. So we're going with the cheap stuff because we don't care about this dog very much. And uh, so we're gonna nail in this side. The first common mistake is everybody likes to go right to the corners and put a nail in right there. Why is that a problem? Because it's going to not be not straight. There we go. There's a nail directly under that. And if I nail right on top and it goes down to right where that nail is, what's going to happen? Split. Yeah, it's going to make stuff things. It's going to break. It's going to splinter probably. So what we're going to do is we don't want to nail directly above that. And the cool thing is we can see from the side where exactly the nails are, so we know right where we should not nail. And for this doghouse, since we uh, don't have a, <clears throat> usually when we're in the field, it will, on the plan set, it will tell us how often we need to nail it. It will say six inches on edge and 12 inches in the field, which means that we nail every 12 out here and six on the edge. We don't, we don't have a nailing schedule on this. What I want you to do is I want you to nail between one nail in between each of those nails. Okay, so you got two nails here, we want one right in the middle. You got two here, we want one right in the middle. Does that make sense? So we're going to nail this side first. And <clears throat> don't tell anybody, but I'm going to help this group out. So I get my nail ready, and I'm ready to nail it in. What's the problem? Just make sure it's square. Not it's square, but make sure it's lined up. Lined up. So one person should hold both sides. What always tends to happen is one person comes over here and adjusts it like this, and then Mackenzie grabs that side, she adjusts her <coughs> side. Do we know that we have the same overlap? No, we don't. I actually have, it's, I have an eighth inch off right here, and she's hanging over the edge an eighth inch. Don't tell anybody you have a hangover. 
So we're going to slide it back. So one person is going to hold it on this side, and while one person's holding, the other one. So we put one nail in, and now we need to. We're going to put in another nail over here, and once this nail is in, then this side's locked in, right? And then this person can let go. But right now, what I've seen happen is this gets moved a little bit, and they come down over here. <laughs> and then they nail this side in, and it's off, right? So we're going to put one nail in over here, too, just because we're that cool. Yeah. I, I made a mistake, but I wasn't going to tell anybody. You know what the mistake is? That is incredible. I think there's a piece of metal in there. I actually bent the nail, trying to put it in a piece of plywood. I'm a little worried now. We're going to pick a different one. We'll let, let one of you figure that one out. Okay. I think they put a piece of metal in there halfway through. That's how it's supposed to go. Okay, so we have one of those in, and now what do we need to do? Now we're going to squish this side over to match, and then we're going to nail off that side. Now the next thing we need to do after you've nailed off both sides is we need to nail where the joists are underneath, right? And there's two ways to do that. If the chalk line is busy, you can just take a regular stick, line it up with the nails that are underneath. And so I can just put a line like that, and now I know where to nail. Or if you want to get all fancy and put a whole bunch of blue dust on yours, I want to give you this stupid end. I like fancy stuff. Put it on, hook it, put okay. that red button nail. And then watch this side, I'm actually going to pinch the string. So I pinch the string, I bring it down, and then we're going to snap it. And you need uh, two nails in each of these. So there'll be two here and two on the edge one, two on that. Okay? That makes sense? Yeah. Okay. Okay, one, two, three, back. It's amazing.